Hello, I'm Jason from Zygate.com, and what I have in front of me are a bunch of parts from our newest project called Winthrop's Build-A-Prop Workshop. It's a screw-together, simple, modular, 3D printable, mostly support-free way to build your own props for cosplay, LARPing, just for decor, or really whatever you want. My kids keep stealing all the pieces. So I thought I'd just show you some of the basics of how to build your own props. To start with, we have these simple screw mechanisms that basically just go right into either end of a part. We have handles that are completely hollow so that you can uh, connect it on both sides. Or we have end caps that uh, have a stop on them or maybe something like a spear tip that doesn't go all the way through. And these pieces can simply screw on to all the other components. Okay, and see this one, it doesn't quite line up where I want it to be. So how do you correct that with uh, different tightnesses of screws? Well, there's a very simple way. We have made a series of washers that can be 3D printed, and these will stop the screw at the right, right spot. So they go from 0.1 millimeters all the way up to two millimeters thick, depending on what your tolerances are for your printer and how many items you're trying to get to line up at once. So this is just a 0.4 millimeter washer, what I'm using here, let's see how that does. They can stack and you can also make them thinner. So if I want it to be horizontal to the blade, that's perfect right there. If I wanted it to be stopping at a different point, I could try stacking them and I could try using different thicknesses also. So let's stack the washers. And we're almost there. So I'm gonna stack one more in here and see where that gets me. It's good to print the washers in the color of the matching piece you're doing right there. But see if I wanted my blade to go this way instead of horizontal to the handle. I now have it about where I want it right there with just a couple of washers in there. Let's talk a little bit more about the screws. So the screws, we've designed three different tightness options for you. The tight is very tight. It's almost the exact same diameter as the screw. So most of you probably won't use that. For me, I use the standard screw. This hole is the PVC pipe hole. So if you want to use half inch PVC, you can reinforce your handles with the half inch PVC by inserting it through the holes um, on straight pieces. So if you have a straight handle, you can do that. So back to the screws. So this is the half inch PVC hole. We also have a version that has a star in the middle here. And basically what that does is that allows you to use the star tool and screw and then twist if you're not planning to do any sort of reinforcement on these. You can just use a tool to kind of tighten and untighten these. And if you want, these also have a screw on the bottom so you can make your own handle for it. If you do use a handle for it, I'd recommend going ahead and gluing it on because that way when you untwist and twist back and forth, you're not loosening this screw. The um, screw pieces also have a hole variant where you can put a quarter inch thick dowel in through the hole and reinforce the whole item that way. And I'll show you why that's important here in a minute. So we've got three tightnesses of screws and we've got four variants on how these screws are. We've got the PVC pipe hole, we've got a star hole, we've got a quarter inch hole for a wood dowel, and we've got a solid version if you want to cut your own hole or don't want to mess with a hole in the middle. So let's build, let's build a dagger. Let's build a simple dagger. So I've got a handle, I've got a screw, I've got this one. I already had a washer here, but I know that this will need one washer. And this will line up the guard with the handle here. Now I'm going to put in another screw and same thing on the top. I'm going to use a washer. Both of these washers are 0.4 millimeters. That works very well on my Carbon X1 Bamboo Labs printer. And now you can see the pieces line up by using those washers and you get a nice solid screw fit there for a dagger. So that's why you'd want to use the washers. Let's go on to the, the dowels. So 
we've made a series of different blades available for printing uh, props because who doesn't need a good sword when you're printing props and this is comprised of a series of handles and a guard and a pommel but you can see I have a wood dowel in here and that actually runs all the way through the handle and through the blade I have not glued this blade so I can show you this blade will print in four pieces so that you can print it on any printer pretty much an FDM style printer and it simply you can see that has some square dowel holes and a center dowel hole which lines up with the screw to put your pieces together so these square dowels are the ones that you would print for alignment and then you insert them over your wood dowel here in the center and simply glue those pieces together if you have a really large printer you can print these blades in full one go we have provided that as an option but none of the printers i have are tall enough so everything is sliced to be able to fit on something like a bamboo mini you can also use a Prusa Mini or any sort of mini printer that has 180 millimeter square build volume. The easiest kind of props, the easiest kind of props to put together are things like staffs because it doesn't matter where the alignment is necessarily on these. So this is all just circular pieces and I use these connector pieces here which adds a nice element. It, it almost doesn't let you know that it's uh, broken up. Like if you can't hide a connection, emphasize it, right? So that you can see here that these are like rings that go over the wood, but obviously it's broken into pieces so that you can print it on your home printer. And this just simply adds a screw, adds a connector in between. And we have all sorts of connectors. If you wanted to print these in different connectors, you can take it from a different set and throw that on there, connect that, throw in Another screw on the top here and modify your staff. You can you can mix and match all the various pieces. So like say I wanted the wooden piece with these rings on here. This I think is from our mallet set, which is included in the whole bundle. But see, easily modify that. And another thing you can do is we have these blades of light, but you don't have to give them the blades of light handles. You can give them whatever handle you want. Make a, a wooden handle. We've got these expanded, expanding blades available to print in place. And these can simply screw on, like all the other pieces, to whatever part you want to build here. Let's go ahead and build an axe also. These are similar to the blades. You're going to want to use some sort of alignment washer here for the, for the axes. You'll need a part that has horizontal holes in it too. These are included with the axes. Now, when you print these, I'd recommend using adaptive layers so that it, it handles the top portion of this joint better. If your printer is struggling to print this without supports, you can add like a tree support up in here in the top portion to help support that, that joint. These were printed without any supports and they work just fine with the settings I use. You can also try using the looser screw for this portion if it came out a little tight for you on the horizontal screw. So we're going to go ahead and add two screws, one on either side, and these are just a variant of the axe blades you can print. There's several of them in the pack. Take a washer for these because I know that there's going to be a little bit of play in that screw and I'm going to screw this on. What I'd recommend with the washers is maybe start by printing a couple of 0.2 millimeter washers. In most cases, you'll probably need more than a tenth of a millimeter. So start by printing a couple of the 0.2 millimeter washers. And you can stack those and figure out exactly how you need it. And so if you only want to use one washer, that's what I did. I, uh, I printed a couple of 0.2 millimeters. I found that I needed two of them. So I printed a bunch of 0.4 millimeter washers. And you can print these in black or you can print them in the matching color. The matching color just fades away like you don't even know that it's there. The black kind of just looks like it's a shadow almost. So those are both good options. Okay, got the blade here. Let's go ahead and give it a handle. And we can do something funny here. Let's, uh, let's put in a ring washer connector thing here. Put in a connector here. Okay, let's put in another screw. 
and why not? Let's give it a blade of light connector here. We might need a washer for this. I'm guessing we will. Let's go ahead and throw a washer in this part. And we can attach the axe top. There we go. Yeah, that washer is just about right. And then let's give it some sort of topper. I don't know. Let's give it a spear topper. And this one will probably take a washer too, just because I know that it's, I'm wanting it to line up with the other part here. There we go. And that's just about perfect. So there you go. We got an axe. And it's just done simply with all 3D printed parts. If you wanted to, you could reinforce this whole straight section with half inch PVC. One last thing I want to show you about the prop weapons is that if you open up the handle and take off the screw, if you're going to your D&D night or LARPing or whatever, you need a set of dice for games later, just throw it in the handle and off you go. You can screw that back on. You got a nice little portable dice container. It's one of the reasons we left all the parts as hollow as possible. There you go. Got an axe. You can build staffs. You can build daggers, swords, um, mallets, hammers, all sorts of weapons here. And um, this is now available on Zykit.com. It's called Winthrop. Winthrop. Sorry, Winthrop. Mm -hmm. We're releasing some mystery items throughout the month of February. Just things like a uh, grapple hook. We also have um, today's, which are some wall mounts. Wait, let me get that screen. One second. Hold on. Okay, so we got some wall mounts, and these come with uh, either wood textured or plain. And then we have the kind of hook option here where you can lay like staff weapons across this. So if you had built a staff and you want to hang it on the wall, you can simply line up two of these, three of these, depending on how long it is, and hold it on the wall like that. These uh, also come, these also come with a, a pronged version. So if you have like a dagger or something like that and you want to hang it on the wall, you can hang it like that. The sword can work like this too. Um, you can also, if you make something really big, you can use two of the hooks. So, so you could use, like with that sword down there I showed you, you could use two of the hooks and kind of space them close together. These are really easy to mount on the wall. We've got this little sliding connector. You just put two or three screws in here. Try to find a stud if you can. If not, use drywall anchors. And then this screws on the wall, and then this slides right over it. So it's really simple. And the bottom of this piece is the bottom of your mount. So easy to align to. So yeah, I hope you'll swing by zykit.com, check this out. If you pick this pack up during February, you also get all the mystery items that we're releasing. Those will be sent out uh, beginning of March. So hey, thanks for checking out. Hope you have fun building some props of your own. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.